Today we're going to add and subtract fractions with any denominator, okay? With any denominator. So let's get started. So I have 7 eighths plus 3 fifths. Now, before I tell you that, whenever you add or subtract fraction, you have to have the same denominator, okay? So, 8 and 5, 8 is one denominator and 5 is the other denominator. They're not the same. So, since they're not the same, I need to get a common denominator. I need to get a new denominator, okay? And I told you before, whenever you, get a, whenever you find your, your new denominator, you want to think about your multiples, Think about your multiples. So I'm going to list my multiples of 5 and I'm going to list my multiples of 8. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and so forth. For 8, I have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and 48. Okay, as you can see that they share a common multiple of, of 5, I'm sorry, of 40. This is going to be my new denominator. So I'm going to write the 40 right here. All right. Now that I have my new denominator, I need to find a new numerator. So if you've never watched the video on equivalent uh, fractions, please watch that video and you'll explain. It's just a video on doing this step right here that I'm about to do. So um, I know that 8 times, 8 times 5 is 40. Since I know that 8 times 5 is 40, I need to, whatever I multiply on the bottom, I need to multiply on the top. What is um, 7 times 5? 7 times 5 is 35. I know that 5 times 8 is 40, and I know that 3 times 8 is 24. Okay? So I've created equivalent fractions. This fraction is the same as this fraction, and this fraction is the same as this fraction. They just look different. Okay? If I were to reduce 35 fortieths, it would reduce down to 7 eighths. If I were, were to reduce 24 fortieths, it would reduce down to 3 fifths, okay? So, now that I have my, my same denominator, my like denominator, I'm going to add my numerators. 35 plus 24 is 59. And I'm going to bring down my new denominator. Hmm, okay? So, if you remember that on our uh, improper to mix number video, that this is an improper fraction because my numerator is larger than my denominator. So I need to change this improper fraction into a mixed number. And the way that I'm going to do that, I'm going to say 59 divided by 40. 40 will go into 59 one time. Subtract, that's going to be 19. This is my whole number. This is my numerator. This is my denominator. So, my whole number is 1. My numerator, my top number is 19. And my denominator, which is my bottom number, is 40. Now I need to check and make sure that this is in lowest terms, okay? Just to, just to make sure. If you just want to make sure, check and make sure, then what you want to do, you want to take, you want to find the factors of 19 and 40. The factors for 19 are 1 and 19. It only has two factors. 40, you're going to have 1 and 40. You're going to have 2 and 20. 4 and 10. 5 and 8. Okay? The factors that they have in common, they should have a 1 in common 
and that's all. The one is the only number that they have in common. And so that's going to be my GCF. So my GCF is going to be 1. Since my GCF is 1, I know that this is in its lowest form. Okay. Let's do another one. All right. I have 7 ninths minus 1 fourths. Again, when I subtract fractions, I need to make sure I have the same denominator. I have a 9 as a denominator and a 4 as a denominator. They're not the same. So I need to get a common denominator. And I'm going to get my common denominator by listing my multiples of 9 and 4. So my four, four multiples are going to be 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, um, 28, 32, 46, I'm sorry, 30, 36, and uh, 40. My multiples for 9, my multiples for 9, make that another color, 9, it's going to be 9, 18, 27, 36, and I, I can go on and on and on, okay? So, I need to fix, need to find what number do they have in common. They have the number, let's see, they have the number 36 in common. So 36 is going to be my new denominator. Alright, now let me find my new numerator. 9 times 4 is 36. 7 times 4 is 28. 9, 4 times 9 is 36. And 1 times 9 is 9. Alright. Now that I have like denominators, I'm going to subtract 28 minus 9, and that's going to give me 19 over 36. 1936. I need to know if this is in its lowest terms. So I'm going to list the factors for 19 and the factors for, thir for 36. And if my greatest common factor is 1, it's in lowest terms. 1 and 19. Then you have 1 and 36. 2 and 18, 3 and 12, 4 and 9, and 6 and 6. All right. Let me see what they have in common, the factors that they have share in common. They share 1. There's no 19 over here. So I know that my greatest common factor is 1. So therefore, since my greatest common factor for 19 and 36 is 1, I know that this is in lowest terms. All right. Let me let you work one. You try one. All right. Uh, you try 8 tenths plus 3 fourths. If you'll please freeze the video and, and add these two fractions, and turn it back on when you are finished. Thank you. All right. If you notice, I have two different denominators. I have a 10 as a denominator and a 4 as a denominator. I need to get a new denominator because I can't add these two fractions until my denominators are the same. Okay? So I'm going to go over here and list my multiples. 
My multiples of four are four, eight, um, 12, 16, 20, 24, and I can go on and on and on. My multiples for 10 are 10, 20, 30, 40, and I can go on and on and on. Well, what number do they share? What is the smallest number that they share? And that number is going to be 20. That number is going to be 20. So therefore, my new denominator is going to be 20. Now we need to find my new numerator. I know that 10, I know that 10 times 2 is 20, and I know that 8 times 2 is 16. I know that 4 times 5 is 20, and I know that 3 times 5 is 15. 16 plus 15 will give me 31 and keep my denominator of 20. So 16 plus 15, that's my new numerator, and I'm going to keep my new denominator. Well, as you know, this is, a, is an improper fraction, so I need to change this improper fraction to a mixed number. Well, I'm going to divide 31 divided by 20. I'm going there one time. This is my whole number. This is my numerator. This is my denominator. So this this 30 31 20 is now 1 and 11 20 Now let me check and see if I can reduce that or if it's in its lowest terms. So I'm going to write the factors for 11 and the factors for 20. 1 times 11, those are the only two factors. And for 20, you have a, a number of them. You have 1 times 20. You have 2 times 10. You have 4 times 5. Well, what factor do they share? They share 1. And that's it. I don't see 11 over here. So my greatest common factor is 1. So therefore, this is in lowest terms. All right? I hope this video helped you. Um, and, and if you would like to um, contact me, please go to mathwithmoon.org for future videos. Or you can contact me on my website by uh, clicking the email uh, tab or the comment tab. Alright, and I will see you next time. Bye.